Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Algorithms. This is Rentesh and today we'll be solving the problem random pick with weight. That's a weird name for a problem, but yeah. So let's start with the problem description. Given an array W of positive integers where W of i describes the weight of index i, write a function pick index which randomly picks an index in proportion to its weight. So we have a note the length of the array would be less than 10,000 and the weight of any index in the worst case would be less than 100,000 equal to less than or equal to 100,000 10 power 5 and pick index will be created will be called at most 10,000 times all right so I I mean this the problem description was not pretty straightforward if you think about it, uh, it basically says one, let's say, take an example array. Let's start a workbook. So an example array, one, five, nine, twelve. So what does it mean? Um, the question says, let's say in index. So, So positive integers W of i describes the weight of index i. So for at, at the weight at index zero is one, the weight at index one is five, the weight at index two is nine, the weight at index three is twelve. So the when they call the function pick index, it should basically return um, an index from zero to three based on the weighted average what do you what do we mean by weighted average here so the probability of uh, an index being picked from 0 to 3 should be proportional to their weight so let's say you know we picked actually very high values but let's say we reduce this to 3 2 3 let's say 4 4 let's say um, if we have uh, one occurrence of zero and three occurrences of one and two occur four occurrences of two and four occurrences of three in an array so now if we pass the a random uh, if we pass a value to the random um, method any inbuilt random method um, which is basically the size of this whole array you will get an index from zero to whatever this value was it should be I think 1 plus 3 4 plus 4 uh, it's basically 12 so between 0 and 12 we need to pick an index and then we'll get a value uh, let's say we we pick 6 then we have to return basically um, this new array of 6 let's say this is called the new array so the weighted average means um, that each when, when being when we are doing a probability each index should have their uh, weighted average see if if we ignore these values if we have to pick a between number number between 0 and 3 uh, i mean the probability of we picking any number any index is 25% right 1 by 4 but but we don't want that we want their weight also to be taken into consideration so one way to do it is basically example to um, generate an array something like this where you generate any um, you know x number of occurrences of the index where x is the actual value at uh, the actual weight and then finally do a once you generate this you can basically just do uh, pick a random value between 0 and length of this new array minus 1 and then return that value you know uh, return the value at that index so this this would solve the problem this, this is what the question when the the question means pick index pick index which randomly picks an index in proportion to its weight so we can do that but the problem is let's say if if we have a billion here or 2 billion or 10 billion you know uh, then we'll end up creating a massive very massive array we don't want that what we can do instead is so this is a brute force solution root for solution is to this is solution one generate 
एन वाले रेट एक्स अकरेंसेस ऑफ इच इंडेक्स वेर एक्स इज द रेट The solution two could be, let's say we make another array where weight at each index resembles the weight until that index. Let's say one, um, and then the next value would be one plus the current index value three, four, and then next value would be one plus three plus four, which is basically seven, no eight. and which the next value would be 12 so what we are doing is um we are adding a weight at each level to the uh, at each index we are adding the previous uh, indexes weight so that way in the final index the when you generate this array the final index will have the final index will have the total weight so when i say you have to pick from 0 to 12 right 0 to 12 right so if you see this new array we generated um by adding the previous weight to the current weight at every index now we have 12 in the final uh, index basically in the in the final um, number for final 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 index yes so all you have to do is generate a random number now generate a random number between 0 and array of length of array minus 1 right basically the last index value length of array minus 1 and uh, you do this and then now now that we have the index what are we going to do we have to find a value right so the way we can do it is uh, basically doing a binary search do we need binary search depends so we are basically looking for you know once a random number is generated between 0 and 12 we can just do a linear search on this array and check if the current value is greater than the random value if it is greater than um, or equal to random value we basically return that value so a linear search works fine big o of n but assuming we get a really massive array uh, a binary search would help us uh, limit the search to o of log n time So binary search for the random number, right? Right. This would be O of n to initially process the weights and O of log n for the search. And as you can see, pick index will be called at most ten thousand times. So while you generate the array only once, the pick index is called ten thousand times. So you would rather do binary search than uh, do ten thousand times linear search, right? so binary search helps even also in that way uh all right so we know what we have to do this is algorithm let's start coding all right um so we have a solution let's say we call we have a array called sums which is integer array so we have a constructor uh, what we can do is we can can call it total equal to 0 and for what we can do is we can have a array equal sums which is the length of given array all right now i equal to Zero. I less than length of W. I plus plus. Sum is equal to sum sum is plus is equal to W of I. Once you have it, then you going to assign it sums of I is equal to sum. So finally, you can just return. the solution search this is just preparation um so what do we have sums is sums right so 
now we have uh, the processed uh, integer array handy we need a random value go has a rand thing which basically you know what just temporary create a temporary variable called size length of this dot sums so now we are looking at 0 to size minus 1 we just have to give the upper bound to the random integer so we are looking at something between this dot sums of size minus 1 if you see uh, size minus 1 is basically 12 here right yeah yeah so we need something between 0 and 12 so we are going to pass 12 to the random function let's import lead code imports it by default but just in case so we imported the random we have the random function uh, now we know what to look for let's do a binary search now length left right is equal to rand dot zero comma size minus one oh, yeah size minus one now for left greater than right you know when they search we just basically uh, create a mid since we know the uh, the number of elements is going to be less than hundred thousand we are not doing uh, you know fancy boundary check for calculating mid right we have a mid um, if this dot sums of m if it is less than or equal to random then it's on the right side so left equal to m plus one otherwise it's going to be on the left side Sorry. yeah on the left side so we going to limit the right to the mid after all this we're going to return all all right so we call it, we have the size we created a random variable between 0 and uh, 12 12 is the last index of the of the new array and then we going to do a binary search and return the low upper boundary Declaration statement of the function 59. 59. I didn't comment this out. All right. So make of integer array of length w. What else? W of i. Right, so we actually going to use total. M. All right. There's a bunch of syntactical stuff. Um, all right, it it ran, and as you can see, the expected output and output matches. Let's submit the code see if it works all right it got accepted uh, beats 91 percent solutions i try to see what the 100 percent solution is it's basically the same thing all right if you have any questions about the um about the problem or the code please add a comment um, and I will respond to as soon as possible uh, and if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel So I can keep making more videos of this guy. Thank you